I love Minecraft. So much so that I have built so many houses and even built a kingdom. I have been playing Minecraft for 3 years now and possibly even more than that. So yeah, over the course of the years, I have improved my building skills. But what about my redstone skills? All throughout the years, all I ever done with redstone is to build a redstone farm so that I can make my farm efficient. But I didn't really properly design my very own redstone machine. So in today's episode, we're gonna actually do that. So let's build a slot machine. Now, I have built a slot machine back in the day, but it's been such a long time now that I've totally forgotten about how to build one. So in this video, I'm actually going to design my own slot machine without even need any help from any videos or from any advisors. So yeah, let's just go in wow and just see how good I am, am I at building the slot machine. And with that said, let's begin the video. The first step, the base of the slot machine. So I have come up with three of the base for the slot machine. Now before we can really start building the slot machine, we first need to understand how the slot machine works. So I built up three different base for the slot machine and each of them do a different thing. Now let's showcase one of them. So this first one, this is a piston tape slot machine. Now basically what it does is it basically push all these blocks around. So yeah, after a certain amount of time, one of them will randomly stop and then the same, uh, the same goes with the other one and the other one and it's all randomized. And depending on what block uh, sits still on the middle of the uh, lamp, then yeah, it would give us a, a, a certain reward. But this one, in my opinion, is a little bit too complicated. I'm not sure if I want to do this, especially given that I'm not that good at redstone. So I might want to pass on this or maybe we we'll do this another day once we are, are better at restaurants. Now the second one over here, we got ourselves an uh, item uh, uh, slot machine. So basically what we have here is we're gonna have uh, a lot of items over here. Now this is just a demonstration though, so that's, there's only one. So basically we shall out an items. It's gonna reveal three different items over here. And depending on like the item itself, let's say if we got two diamonds, then uh, the system will calculate that there's two uh, diamonds in the system and then it will group and give uh, the reward based on uh, how many uh, of the correct uh, items there is. So yeah, but the problem is in this this one has a flaw. So if you were to build this in a server, uh, of course it has to rain again. I swear every time when I try to do recording, it just wants to rain. Anyway, so yeah, this is basically going to be the system. But again, the flaw is if you were to build this on the multiplayer server, there's a good chance that this system will break most of the time, mainly because in order to have the server protection or server perform perf performance increase maximums, what the server will do basically it will increase the uh, pickup rate or stack rate radius uh, a lot bigger. So there's a good chance that let's say this diamond, like imagine this diamond and there's another diamond over here. There's a good chance that both of these will stack into one, which will break the system in itself. So yeah, most of the time I wouldn't recommend uh, doing this, but however, this is quite a good display for if you really want to use item method as a slot machine. It's actually quite simple to do as well. This is the design that I did uh, way back then before I changed it to something else. And yeah, last but not least, we got some just a simple, really simple tree redstone lamp. Now. I know this isn't anything but apart from the, the redstone layer, that's because this is actually quite simple. I, I find this the most simple one mainly because it only consists by using the randomizer. So if you don't know what is a randomizer, basically, oops, I did this the wrong, wrong way. 
Basically, the randomizer it basically shoots out two different things. One is a wooden sword, and another one is a redstone dust. Now, the redstone dust can be staggerable, so it shoots out a much weaker signal. Whereas, if you shoot out a wooden sword, it will shoot up a signal strength of three. So, to demonstrate this, you can see it just shoot up a, a sword. But if we shoot up, I do it a few more times. Now, that time it's a redstone dust, so it doesn't shoot out. Like it does not activate the redstone lamp. So if we keep doing this a few times, you can see like it's quite random no matter what. Now we can like to pretty much extend this like we, not, uh, before that this is like 50 50 but now this is like uh 20 30 so this will be a much more rare chance uh for the lamp to activate so yeah again out of all of the, the three uh slot machine design over here i think the most easy one is going to be this one and then yeah i'll be choosing this one for the base of the slot machine in this video this video yeah, out of all three of these base design, I think I'm gonna choose this one for the base slot machine. So yeah, now that we got ourselves an idea, let's get building. Okay, so I have built up the first part of the module and this part is actually quite simple. All it takes is three randomizer with some comparator comparing the um, if, if the hopper detects anything. If the hopper detects a sword, it will send a three signals, otherwise it will mostly just signal out a, a redstone signal of one. So let's just give this a try. I'll set up an activation over here and you see that I have placed the micro rail over here. This is to save uh, some lag over here. It's a redstone red. So yeah. And then I got some observer to activate the dropper over here. And then yeah, why don't we just give, uh, give it a try and see. Okay. First time it's just, you know, okay. Second time, third time, okay, same side, it is pretty much random, okay, this looks positive, <laughs> okay, I hate, how, okay, listen now, alright, <laughs> I hate how much they just keep giving us 3 at the same time, this is just too common, maybe we should just increase it to 20, 30. Okay, I have changed it so it is less likely for us to get all three lamps lit up. So yeah, I think this is pretty fair now. Now we can move on to the next part, which is the hardest part. Now for all of you out there, you guys know that we can't just have slot machine without rewards. So we want to give rewards to the people that actually play slot machine. So that is the first step of making the slot machine is to make out a system to dispense a reward based on this. Depending on how many lamps you lit up, you can only get based on the amount of lamp lit up. Let's say if there's only one lamp lit up, you can only get the tier 1 reward. If there's two lamps lit up, then there's only two uh, tier 2 reward. And let's say if there's three lamps or lit up, you can only get the tier 3 reward and nothing else. We want to make sure when you get the tier 3 rewards, you don't get any tier 2 or tier 1 rewards. And so yeah, just to make it fair. But it is simple to say than actually do it. The rest of the part is really, really difficult. Uh, I'm gonna need to come up with something to actually do this. Hold on, you can wait a minute. First thing first, we need to understand how this works. So I have set up a really e easy sim and simple to understand. I don't know if it's actually simple to understand. Uh, and I don't know what this is called. I'm gonna say it's an end game or something? Don't mind my word, I, I'm not a redstone pro professional, so I'm gonna say it's actually an uh, end game. So basically what it does is, if let's say these two redstone lamps lit up together, then these two torches will be deactivated, hence you can see this one will also get deactivated. If any one of the t torches is active, then this redstone lamp will also be active as well. So yeah, in order to uh, be able to make uh, get so uh, you can get the first tier, second tier, and third tier. This is actually the keys to it. Now you might be also wondering, hey, what about if this land and this land lit up, and this one doesn't lit up? 
what gonna what are you gonna do about that? Well, over here we have also set up the same thing pretty much from uh, using this redstone and this redstone line over here. So we basically just extend it from over here and then do the same thing over here. So if this two was to um, if the two redstone line was to activate, this two will be uh, the activated. Hence, this redstone line will also uh, deactivate and then yeah, trigger the system. So that's that. I swear I cannot speak while doing redstone or recording this video. I'm the worst. Why are you watching me? Why are you why are you watching these videos? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, I have come up with a system where I can di now dispense the third tier reward and the second tier reward. Now I haven't really come uh, come up with a design for the first tier rewards if there's only one lamp lit up. But so far, this is the progress. Now, I understand this is kind of like a redstone mess right now, but please bear with me. I think I can explain this uh, with you. So, the first one is actually quite easy to explain because, like, let's say that if all of the three lamps lit up, then all three of the torches over here will be disabled. Hence, this redstone line will also get disabled and then activate the redstone torch over here, which will activate the, uh, the drop over here. So, yeah, this will give us the third tier reward. Simple as that. But when it comes to second tier reward, it's either one of these two uh, redstone torches disabled to in order to re enable these redstone torches and then repeat it to this uh, drop over here. This will dispense the second tier rewards. And the same co uh, thing goes through right here. If these two redstone torches disabled, then it will disable, uh, activate the blue wall over here. And if this one and this one disable and not the middle one, then these two over here, the orange line will activate and we also basically do the same thing and then yeah that's about it for the f uh this two over here and now i need to come up with a design for the first tier reward now there's actually one thing that i actually miss the most now if you pay attention really closely you can see the lamp it's not lit up long enough it only blink for a little bit now when we want to make a slot machine we want to make sure that people can actually look at the uh, the slot machine long enough to make sure they understand what they got and this is definitely not long enough for the people to look at it if you only activate there you go and then yeah so basically we need to design we need to invent something uh, like a delay that will extend the lamp like little the lamp long enough so that people can take a look at it so yeah i think what i will do is i will use this redstone line to use i uh, use it as a extender for the redstone lamp okay i believe i have done so so now we have a delay over here when this triggers it will activate this thing over here and then yeah hopefully finger cross this will extend the redstone stick now and there you go take a look at this what uh no it didn't work <laughs> it seems like i'm a dumb dumb because i can't uh, this Redstone line will not always be active, so I can't just take it from here. Instead, I need to have have it on all three of them. So any if any of single one of them activate, it will always activate the redstone signal from below, which will activate this thing and then power the redstone torches over here, which will you know lock this hopper for a few seconds and then unlock it afterwards. So yeah, if we give it a test right now, then we can demonstrate. So yeah, now you can see it's activating. Great. I think this time after many tries, I think I got it. So instead of using the comparator, which is what messed me up, at this time I'm gonna use repeater to disable the uh, first on I think this will help out. Let's see. Okay, and then, all right. Seems like it's working. Let me try a few more times. Just make sure I get that didn't work. Go and disable. Disable. Why did you not disable? Why? Why is this happening? Much, much more painful tinkling later. Uh, 
such is a way of doing redstone. But I think I finally have figured it out. After ma doing many testing, it seems like, yeah, I can ma finally figure out how to keep the land long enough for people to look at. So yeah, now just to really show you guys what I did right is um, instead of taking it from here from this redstone signal I took it from this at the start of the button instead so I think that kind of like solved the problem and then yeah I have the comparator over here this will extend the, uh, the redstone signal and then disable this and then enable this so this will lock the hopper so any of the items that were in here would be stuck here for a while before it went back to the system again so yeah finally oh my god this is a pain but finally we managed to do it i didn't think this is gonna be hard but hey this is a solid machine i expect this to be really hard so now let's do even more hard stuff shall we this is so much pain Okay, I have set up a first tier reward system over here consists of using observer taken from this restaurant signal over here and then bring up to this over here where there's another minecraft track over here and then using the observer to detect it and then bring the signal using the repeater so that it, it won't uh, be too quick for the uh, dropper to lose the uh, connection so finger cross what it will do is it will activate the dropper we did basically this is a t flip flop so it will only tr uh, activate the system once instead of twice and this is a really good system in if you're using observer like this so yeah we basically only want the, uh, this dropper to activate once so not twice and to demonstrate that i placed two redstone dust over here so finger cross we can only only get one item of this. Okay, that time it didn't activate. Oh, I must be really unlucky. There you go. Okay, so finger cross, we're only at getting one person dust. Yes, there you go. And then, yeah, this is perfect. Now, everything is in place but it is not done yet because we still need to design a system where it will block the existing redstone in case let's say if the third tier rewards activated we want the second tier and the first tier to be blocked out completely so this two uh, dropper will not activate whereas only this dropper will activate how we're going to do that we're gonna do it by using this we're gonna do that we're gonna do it by using this if you don't know what this is this is a blocker so basically if you activate using this repeater on the next to another repeater like this for instance this way any of the redstone signal that came from this direction this won't receive anything because it got blocked by this uh, response uh, repeated thingy so yeah if we disable it then only then anything from this side will be able to uh, transfer a signal towards this drop over here otherwise it will not receive anything if this was blocked so yeah we need to design something like this on all of these three uh, well only this two thing over here the tier one tier two the tier three is basically you don't have to uh, block it because yeah it doesn't have anything on top of that so yeah we're gonna need to design this two blockage for this thing now it's easy to explain this process but it's actually really hard to execute, execute the process but i think the first thing we should focus right now is so if let's say we need to use the word if a lot in these videos if this one activates from the all three lamps then we need to use this to block the tier 2 rewards and tier 1 rewards so basically we need to focus on this uh, part of the uh, thing first before we actually move on to this one blocking the first tier yeah let's do that okay i have built out all of the redstone 
for the blockage over here now one thing to know about is we need to have this repeated here to have three ticks delay because if you don't do that then by the time when this top layer which the rest on down all the way down to this layer over here it's gonna be too late to block uh, the rest over here before this thing activates so yeah we need to make make it so it has delays and this thing has time to block the uh, redstone signal before it has a chance to activate it and same goes with everything else up here we're gonna need to make sure all of the places here is 3 tick including the one on the top okay so yeah so i have put down 3 different tier of golden chest plate i mean chest plate so this one is diamond and this one is leather and this one is golden finger cross when we activate this system i temporarily remove all of the randomized server now so it's all guaranteed to uh, shoot out three of the uh, activate three of the lambs so finger crossed we only want this to shoot out the diamond chest plate we don't want it to activate and shoot out the leather tuning and the golden chest plate so yeah, I'm a little bit nervous, but let's let's give it a try, shall we? Okay, so without further ado, let's activate this in three, two, one. Hopefully, works. And well, um, yeah, that didn't work okay so i have done some minor tweaking apparently one of the redstone over here this redstone torch is uh, firing constantly so that's why it's firing all of the, uh, the chest plate or dropper at once but finger crossed this time i think this might work so let us just activate the redstone now let's just see and yeah wait wait a minute okay let's see golden chest plate still there let the unit steal the lip. Let's activate just a few more times. Number one. I think I just somehow made it work. Wow. This is much easier than I thought. Now that we have set up the third tier blockage for the second tier and first tier, we need to do the next part. We need to make it so the second tier needs to block the first tier. Now, it may seem so smooth smelling, but when you consider the possibility for the second tier to activate, there is like one, two, and three. There are three ways for the second tier to activate, right? So yeah, it is not as easy as you think with this system over here. So this is gonna be a lot more complicated than you thought. So yeah here's the hard part good luck with me <laughs> this is one heck of a redstone mess <laughs> but i believe i have diamond over here so if you take a look over here i have taken the signal from this tool and then if you take a look this is a green line and then all of this the redstone signal is gonna send toward this purple over here so this is a extender which will uh, block this uh, part over here long enough so that this won't um, activate no matter what and then yeah i have also done the same thing over here as well down in the orange section so finger cross we want the second to activate but not the first one and to do that all we're gonna do is just remove one thing over here let's start with the the is the yellow one yes let's start with the yellow one first and hopefully we don't see the leather tunic coming out there you go and let's see okay first part good now this time we want the blue one to activate which is this torture and this torture so let's see Okay, it dispenses the golden chest plate so far so uh not good not good this is not good at all um okay gonna need to look into that i think i just know my problem there you go <laughs> i'm missing one rest on torches that's what the problem is let's try that again this time we should not see the leather tuning and there you go that fix it cool all right now the moment's true 
whether the orange one will behave and then actually the first like the little children will not dispense so oh, let's find out okay let's see dispense out the golden lead the golden chest plate and then the electrician is still here all right i think i think across i think we did it so now all we gotta need to do is to finish that set up uh, a water elevator so that it will uh, push all the uh, the items down over here as a reward okay so i have set up all of the uh, waterway over here so now all of the item will send down into this barrel over here and then yeah i think we are ready to test this thing out to test the, the slot machine out now to show you guys what's in there we got a diamond over here as a third tier reward we got a coal as a first tier reward and then we got gold as a second tier reward so finger crossed i hope everything is yeah i hope everything is right you know what let's just let's just give it a try let's see what is our first round are we lucky to get anything no already <laughs> uh, uh, luck. anything um uh, come on i'm making a video for you all right cool we got a first tier reward so finger crossed nothing else but the first tier reward will come out and it seems like yeah we got ourselves the call nice we did it but okay we need to try a few more times to get the second tier and the third tier just to make sure that this machine is fully functional and it's not broken okay i wasn't really being luck lucky with the slot machine so i might have to hey 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 there's not even a freaking sword over here hey that's cheating let me just put one in there how could you Okay, so I've increased the chance to 50-50 now, so it will be a lot more possible for Lamb to uh, uh, activate all three or two. Well, we'll see either way. Let's see. Why am I so unlucky? Finally, here you go. Now is the here. Here's the real test. So we got second tier, and then yeah, it seems like this is all like previous one, and then yeah, it seems that like we got correct. We got a, a second tier once, and then nothing else. And then finally, if we activate all three of the lambs, I'm just gonna cheek my way on this one. Uh huh. Uh huh. Can I see anything? I say you think she anything anyway let's press the button and then oh we we got three lands lila and then finger cross we will get a diamond instead of anything else and it seems like yes we got ourselves diamond and then nothing else no coal no coal whatsoever and then yeah we got ourselves diamond so yeah we got ourselves fully functional slot machine right over here honestly not gonna lie even though this is a little bit a mess i'm surprised i actually managed to keep it quite compact you know you can you know what i don't know what do you guys think do you guys think that i should make a tutorial for you guys like on the patreon so that you guys can actually do this in your survival series what do you guys think let me know let me know down in the comment section below whether you guys want me to do a full tutorial on this slot machine then perhaps it can help you guys out in designing the slot machine and also if you guys want to see more of the slot machine design let me know down in the comment section below as well if you, whether you guys want to see the other two variants of the slot machine right over here using a different uh, method so yeah again i hope you guys really like this video and i hope you guys enjoyed me building this slot machine design i honestly am really proud of it i'm gonna build this on my uh, survival series so yeah again thank you so much for you guys watching and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye